so I've had some requests to um, see how I can do scripting straight in live to DCS and I thought I'd put this tutorial together just to uh, explain how I can save a lot of time here. Uh, I'll start with the finished result. Um, what we're looking to do is just open up F10 um, and you see there's a button here, test script, um, and then something pops up and it does it. Now the thing is with, with DCS often you have to go through this rigmarole of uh, stopping and then quitting, going back to the editor um, and then they start asking, right, okay, we've got to put this back in, but you've got to do this dance before you can change something because it's static in, in, the, in the file and it's been injected. You can't change this live because it won't update. So what we used to do is we just would be like, oh, crikey, what do we do? Let's just take a random other script, press OK, and then save it. And then you'd have to go back in. Um, and then once you've made your changes to, let's say that was moose.lua, then you have to go and put, uh, put moose back in and save it again. And we used to call this the dance. Um, well, I did anyway, because it was a lot of faffing around. But um, what I'm going to show you is how to actually change it live. Um, so you don't need to do this. Um, and let's get started with that. So just a quick overview of it. And some people will get this. Um, I'm just running moose. Uh, the mission or, uh, object oriented scripting environment. Um, and what we do is we create a, a, a continuous action um, that does a script. And the, the key part of this is that you, rather than uh, a do script that, that's printed out directly in here, what we're doing is we're running a file. And that file relates to um, a literal file on my desk, uh, not my desktop, but somewhere. So uh, just so you know that I'm not cheating here. Um, this is where the file sits on the hard drive. Just double click it. It's the same thing. So I'm opening it and I've got it open in LDT here. So you know. Uh, so let's get rid of that and that. Um, and uh, I'll put that in comments or the forum thread that's uh, so you can see it. Uh, but basically it's, uh, it's, it's checking that it's valid and then it does a load file and it loads that as a chunk of Lua. Um, and you can do this with multiple things. I, I, I've got a simple uh, loader that all, it, all you see is a script is is this and it runs a bunch of other files like zzz, and they're all calling each other um, and you don't need to put them into the mission until you're absolutely happy uh, that you've got uh, everything as you want. So it, it runs this um, and we only want it to run once. So what I do uh, is uh, we add a menu item that changes flag one to one. And we do a continuous action that looks for one being one. When that's true, it changes it back to zero. So therefore it only runs once, runs it, sets it back to zero and then runs once. And that allows you to call that assert load file uh, just once from the menu in game. So just go back to how it looks like uh, let's run this and I'll, I'll demonstrate how you can change things live without doing anything, um, you know, without exiting, doing those dancing uh, and all that uh, nonsense. So let's go up to our script here. This is our script. All it's going to do, it's going to stick an environment info uh, when the script is run. Let's launch DCS. Uh, I'm going to bring it up here just so you can see the logs. I've not uh, used a different logger because I quite like this one. So there's our test script that's going to run. We press 1 and uh, instantly it, it's run the script. It's run the message uh, and so on. Now, let's say we wanted to make a change to our file life. Uh, we can do this. So what I've done is I've actually uh, spawned some planes. I've spawned two sets of planes here, um, but I've set the scheduler to stop. So I actually don't see anything happen in the game. There's nothing uh, going on. There's nothing spawned. Let's say I get rid of the comments out of here. Um, uh, and this, this is like we're developing something live. I've put a scheduler in there. Not sure how it worked. You've made a typo. You've done something. Make a change. Okay. So all I'm doing is, is, is saving the script. I've never left the game. The game's still running. Um, and let's run it again and uh, see what happens. And what 
what what should happen is the rest of the the schedule now runs um and now uh, there we can see uh, I've, I've i've started the schedule on these two objects and we've got things spawned um, actually get into the game where's my mouse Uh, and things happen, and you, and, and all, all it does is, is, is literally that you can you can change things on the fly. Let's say you have a tape, a typo, or anything like that, it allows you to easily, um, uh, you know, go and change it, uh, put some rubbish, save it. Things are still going on in DP, DCS. It's not going to load that file again. It's looking at it. Um, Wow, he's already going to town. Uh, but I can then run it again. The interesting thing about running these things again is that they will overwrite uh, variables that you've already got in the game. So that's actually spawned it uh, again, spawned the object again, and replaced it. So uh, everything's back in now. The schedules have started again. Uh, but pretty much we've got absolutely no downtime there. So it allows you to, to, to make the max of your, your mission editing time. And uh, you can watch for errors or whatever you've done. So let's say I, I introduced a, um, an error that's really going to mess it up. Um, let's try doing this. Okay, and then uh, you've noticed I've got some highlighting here as well. I actually did the blue highlights for it's looking for campaign because that's something I'm working on. Um, but the the red highlights I've got as an error, um, and that takes me immediately, and it doesn't know what that means. So I hope that's useful. Um, I'll put the, dis the the technical parts in the um, in the game. Oh, by the way, never forget Shift R. It's just like the best button as well. Uh, and that gets you back. Sometimes you're, you, you're overrunning schedules or things are not quite working, so you need to just relaunch that mission. It doesn't stop you changing uh, the script um, and redoing it. It doesn't take long to do that. And of course, you're back in there doing this again. Three buttons, you're punched, and off your script goes again. It gives you your maximum coding up time and um, stops messing about. Uh, I've probably got some other tips I can share as well, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do them in a separate video. Thanks.